Hey everyone, so this is the second video on the funnel making. Um, and here again is our little funnel with the little uh, handle, for lack of a better word, where we're going to attach a wire and be able to hang this on the wall over your sink so it's ready to use whenever you need it. So the other day we threw some funnels and these are two of the ones that I threw. I've already put the little hook or handle, whatever you want to call it, on both of those. So we have these two done. So I'm going to show you how to finish these up. So here's one. Now at Art Alliance, y'all have chucks, which is what this is right here. And I've already centered this chuck onto my bat. Um, and then you can use your chuck to hold up your funnel so you don't have to worry about the tender part down here. And so the way that I get this ready to go is I take the time to see how it feels in terms of being centered and level. And this is centered but not level. So I've got my little level here and I just stick that right on top of there. And right here it's level, but if we turn it just a little bit, it's still pretty level. Hold on, it won't be that way the whole time. So you're just gonna keep moving it little bit by little bit and you'll watch the little bubble inside the level. And you'll just kind of work your way around getting your piece until it's level on every time you put the, the level down. So this should be pretty close soon. This has almost been all the way around. One more little time, and I think we're good to go. We'll see if this is level now. No, not quite. Okay. All right, that looks, hold on, this looks a little high on this end. Let's see. Yeah. It does take a little fussing to get it to where it's the right. Um, it's level all the way around. So right now it is. So we're going to take some clay, and we're just going to attach the funnel to the chuck like this now if you don't have a chuck you can always make one I make all my chucks and they're just cylinders and then I bis fire them so they'll hold up to this kind of work okay. all right now that we've got it all attached here I am really just gonna take a sponge and just kind of work on the edge of this sometimes you don't need to even use a trimming tool you can just use a sponge Now, if you end up not liking the way that this this edge look, if it's too thick for you, you can always take your tool whoops, and start to trim. So I'm using a little Kemper um, ribbon tool. And you can just start to trim this away to make it thinner. And it's all just gonna collect inside your funnel and then you can just toss it out after you're finished. Oops. Sometimes the bat, since it's bisware, it will dry out um, your pieces of clay that are attaching it to um, to the the chalk. And so sometimes you'll have to replace those with wetter clay. But right now, I kind of feel like I like this little guy. So here he is with all the junk inside. So just toss that out. And I think that looks pretty good to me. Um, and I'm just going to clean up this, this little bit of a rough edge here with my sponge. Um, and then we'll, we'll attach a handle in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and, and trim two of them. And then we'll, um, we'll attach the little, for lack of a better word, like I said before, handle or hook. Okay, like that. So he's pretty good, nice and smooth. We'll just put him aside for now. 
and then let's grab this little one. I don't even know if y'all remember from the first video, this was the first one I threw and it has all of this junk in here. And I wanted to show you how to get rid of that because a lot of times when you cut it off the hump, you may have this junk. And so I just take a needle tool and I'm just gonna push it down until you get to the thick part. And I'm just gonna pull my needle tool all the way around and then just pull that forward. So there you have something that's a little bit more acceptable. Okay, now if you look at this, <laughs> this chuck is too big for this little funnel. And for some of you out there, you might not have chucks um, on hand. And so that is when we are going to hand trim a funnel. So we're gonna do that for this little guy. Cause I don't have a small chuck that will fit him. Um, and I could make one, but he's getting pretty dry, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish. Um, so this looks pretty good, but this is an awfully thick rim. So I'm gonna take my needle tool again, and I'm gonna press in and just start to pull this clay away. I'm trying to put really even pressure. When you hand trim, you have to kind of stay very centered and try to get really even pressure all the way around as you're pulling the clay away. Like that and that doesn't look too bad to me so I'm gonna take my sponge and clean this off and take another look real quick I want to clean up this edge and then I'm probably gonna grab my rasp and um, I'm gonna work on this this rim and make it look nice and perfect and you can do some really good hand trimming you don't have to always use the wheel a sponge and a nice rasp will really work well Okay, so that looks pretty good. The, the rim right here is sticking out a little bit much for my, my taste. So I'm gonna take my rasp right here and you, you need to look inside your rasp and see which way it's supposed to pull because if you do it the wrong way, you're not gonna pull any clay off of, off of your piece. You have to feel for where the tool is going to cut your clay. And then I'm just gonna start bringing this around gently. And this is a small funnel, so we don't want to take off too much or we won't have a funnel lift. So I'm just kind of evenly pulling across. I want a nice level rim. And I'm going to sit that down and clean my rasp off real quick. And then I'm going to do this edge. So I'm going to take the funnel and I'm just going to pull along the edge like that, making this nice and clean. Like that and there's your little funnel now he's a he's still a little bit rough so again we're gonna grab our sponge and we're gonna work on that rim and make it nice and smooth nice and then one more time around here to even that out and there we've got our funnel okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our little our little handle on right here so to make a handle that small we're gonna we're gonna pull a little tiny handle and it's not it's easier to pull a large handle than it is one of these tiny ones what you're gonna need to do is grab a piece of clay, okay, and we're just gonna start to roll this into a coil, right? And the coil is gonna be thinner at one end than the other, like that, okay? See that? And then we're gonna take our water. Mine is basically slip, you can see. It's almost standing up. Oh, I just made a mess, that's okay. So we're gonna pinch this down like that and I'm gonna flatten it out a little bit. See how that's a little flat there? Okay, and then you're just gonna, I use just the two fingers and my thumb and you're just gonna start pulling this little handle down until it's nice and thin. And if it breaks off like that, that's okay because we're dealing with something really thin. So it's gonna do that. So what you wanna do is just Maybe if you break a piece off, you just want to make your fingers a little more gentle. Okay, and there we have a nice thin little 
<laughs> handle. It's tiny. But these are little funnels. I don't like a big funnel. I don't use big funnels except for um, oil at the, with the car. I use smaller funnels in the kitchen. So, um, but that makes our, um, our handles and things like that a lot smaller than normal. So I'm just going to put him down and cut him off there. Okay. And we need two of those, so I'm going to pull one more. I'm just going to pull a little bit of clay down off that. Oh, see, it just comes off. You have to make your fingers a lot more gentle. It's nice and thin. Like that. And then we're just going to put this on our board and just cut it off like that. Now, I have one that's already set up. So we're gonna work on that uh, pull to handle earlier that's set up. So we're gonna work on that. I'm just gonna clean this up real quick. And I'll just show you how to place this little handle really quickly. And then you'll be off and ready to go making your own funnels. Okay, so we're gonna grab this guy. And I'm just taking my little scoring tool. It's just toothpicks held together by dental floss. And I'm going to find the wettest part of my funnel on all the way around. So it's right here. I can feel it's just a little bit tackier than the rest of the funnel. So I'm going to score two spots. And then I'm going to grab some of my slips on my scoring tool. And I'm just going to put that on those two little spots like that. And then I'm just going to grab this little guy that's already set up. See, he's nice and it's a little bit sturdy. And the end that is thicker, I'm just going to pinch it just a little bit to make it even all the way across like that. And then we're just going to come here and we're going to put one end down like that. Pressure loop up. Okay. And then we're going to put the other end down. See? See? And then we're just going to pull that clay down across where we scored on both sides. Like that. And then you can just pinch it however you want it. And I just kind of play with it a little bit, making it look pretty natural. And then if you want to, you can fuss a little bit more around the edges where you attached. But don't fuss too much because it's not really set up all the way. So you want to wait until it's all the way set up and then you can take a sponge to the place where you attached. But that is our trimming a funnel lesson. I hope y'all have a great week. All right, take care, stay healthy.